Hi everyone, Flora Sage here, and I am chilling in my backyard, in my porch. Uh, actually, on my porch, not in my porch. And <laughs> I am sitting here petting my cat. He's on my lap. And watching my dog over there eat up a uh, baseball. I don't know if you can see him. He's right there. And... <laughs> I'm sitting here kind of reflecting about the last couple weeks and making my holiday list of things to buy and shop for, um, you know, people to shop for and things to get, and was guided to make a video today to ask you if you're one of those people who approach the holidays um, kind of before they, they happen and before they come. Meaning, do you purchase your gifts beforehand or do you wait till the last minute? I also want to ask you if you're one of those people that tends to stress out around the holidays about how your house is, about how your how chaotic and and messy everything is. Hi Ashley. Um, so I have my phone pointed the other way today, so it feels a little bit awkward for me. Um, hi Casey. Hi Rosie. Um, so I want you to ask yourself: Are you the type of person who? pre-plans the holidays or are you one of those people who waits till the very last minute? Go ahead and post in the comments below and let me know. I might need to change direction because the hair keeps whapping my face. Hi Walt. Hi Daisha. So what do you do? Do you wait till the last minute or are you one of those people who shops throughout the year? Or kind of like me where it's, you know, the end of September and you're like, oh yeah, I think I'm going to do my holiday shopping. What is it for you? I always find this, this topic very intriguing because, um, well, yeah, just because I, I think it's, it's interesting seeing, seeing how people are. Rosie says, wait till the last minute. Awesome. Okay. So, hi, Warren. So, um, if you find yourself waiting till the last minute, do you feel stressed out or do you feel rushed? because you're waiting till the last minute. Ashley says, I absolutely love the holidays. I've already pulled out my decor, but I don't buy gifts until the last minute. Casey says, last minute. Wow, this is surprising all you guys. Okay, so why do you wait until the last minute? Why do you wait until, um, well, the last minute to do your shopping? I'm gonna do a little bit of walking. I've got this backwards, and so this feels a little bit bizarre. I'm sure you guys can't tell, but it's like, ah! Anywho, so why do you all wait until the last minute? I wonder what would happen if I flip it this way. Would that work? It probably doesn't like it. Now I'm probably upside down. Okay, that's not working. <laughs> Never mind. I was doing it because the wind is a little bit blustery today. So why do you all wait till the last minute to do your shopping? Talk to me. Let me know. Sometimes people will say because of, okay, because the kids want everything. Okay, some people would say because of budget issues. Rosie says, I admit laziness. Okay. Um, so what would you say if I were to tell you there's a better way? What if I were to say that you could start today to kind of sit down and just make a brainstorm list on of everybody that you want to purchase gifts for. Lisa says, I never know what to get. Awesome. So think about, I hope you all can hear me. The wind is just a little bit blustery today. So one of the things that you can do is you can just sit down and you can make a list of all the people that you know that you want to purchase gifts for and, um, and just start to say, hmm, what would this person want? Like my sister, Lisa, she loves chapstick. If you've okay, if you all have never been to the Ver, um, Verbena Apothecary um, on Etsy, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it because there's these fabulous chapsticks that she has that is ridiculously amazing. Hi, Gage! Yay! That's my oldest son, everybody. Michael says you look so rad in those sunglasses. Thank you very much. They're so fabulous. Just kidding. <laughs> no, actually, I do love them. I got them from Target for twenty bucks. I love it. They have the best sunglasses ever. But so, um, I actually asked all my sisters, what do you guys want for Christmas? What do you guys want for the holidays? And my sister Lisa says, really? I want the chapstick that you always give me. Because I give her a year supply of chapstick. <laughs> so, I give her 26 chapsticks every single 
uh, Christmas, she loves it. And we're very much into giving really practical gifts that we will use. And I totally spaced that that's what I've been giving her the last couple years. And I always get them from the Verbena, um, Verbena Apothecary. So, um, oh, she, it's like this vanilla bean chapstick stuff and it's so good and it soaks into your lips and it makes them all like supple and whatnot and it's just it's amazing i use it every night before i go to bed but anyway so one thing that you can do um lisa is you could ask people hey what do you want for the holidays you know and usually by the time that the holidays come around they forget what they've told you and they're like oh my god how did you know and you're like you told me <laughs> you know but that way you're saving money and you're saving time because you're actually um, giving them something that they would want. Um, like my oldest son, I actually asked him, I'm like, hey, do you want a food saver for Christmas and for, for Yule? He's like, oh yeah, that would be awesome because you know, that's something that he uses the one at his work because he works at a food place. Um, he uses the one there all the time. Uh, Jill said, just follow them on Etsy. They're amazing, amazing, amazing. You will not be disappointed. But anywho, so, and I always have to do a bulk order, like a special bulk order, because I always order like 34 of them, because I always get some for myself and two for my, all my other sisters, and then 26 for that one sister. But, yeah, so you can always just ask people what they want. But first and foremost, you have to just give yourself permission to say, this year I'm not going to wait. And the thing is to recognize how much stress waiting puts on you. And it takes literally minutes to sit down and make a list of everybody that you want to shop for and say, what would this person love? What would they use? What would they value right now in their life? And, um, and then just start kind of brainstorming and you can keep it up on the fridge or you can put it in your journal. You can just put it someplace where you think that um, maybe they won't see it if you're afraid somebody's gonna see it, um, such as the person that you're gonna be buying for. But then also, that gives you time to budget for it. It gives you time to maybe think about um, that perfect gift for that person. You know what I mean? And we are very close to the holiday season. We've got Samhain or you know Halloween coming up. We've got Thanksgiving, we've got Maybon, we've got Yule, we've got Hanukkah, we've got Rosh Hashanah that just came, Rosh Hashanah, sorry for butchering that name, um, that started yesterday. So for the people that celebrate, you know, and so we've got all these holidays going on and they come fast when all of a sudden they start coming and we're like, holy shit, how did I miss this, you know? And, but one of the ways also that can help you with your planning is to actually just go through your home and declutter what you have declutter the stuff that you know that you're not going to use and look at you know what can i sell on facebook marketplace what can i sell on etsy what can i just sell at a garage sale or whatever and you can earn some extra money from the stuff that you have that you're not using to fund your holiday shopping spree or to you know fund your holiday shopping and this is one of the things that it's so easy to do that because one of the things i'm all about you know letting your dollars work for you love it love it love it you know and i you know i've had a lot of people recently and i i don't know why recently but um they said well why aren't you more flashy about the things that you have in your life and to me it's more about the experience it's not about getting you know a louis vuitton bag and doing an instagram post about that no to me i'd rather have money in the bank than have a flashy wallet <laughs> or have a flashy purse or a flashy car or whatever and you know i'm all about being frugal when i want to be and and where i want to be because i want to retire someday you know i do want to travel the world and do some things and so i'm all about looking at how you can get the most bang for your buck and um <laughs> Michael says, planning is a wonder bar. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, he also says, planning it is, believe it or not, some people do not plan or not very well, LOL. That's very, very true. And so, you know, this is just a super, super simple tip that I would recommend every single person watching this do. Sit down, make a list of everybody you're gonna shop for, figure out what they want, um, figure out what they would use and because those are the ones that usually make the most impact is those those gifts that people actually use, you know, um, and then also then you can just start going through your home and seeing 
you know, what do I have in my house that I'm not using? What do I have in my house that is just taking up space that I don't love? Start to declutter, start to simplify your surroundings and get rid of, sell, donate, all the stuff that you're no longer using. And then the stuff that you sell, you can make money on it and then you can use that to fund the gifts that you're using or that you're purchasing for your family and for the people in your life. Um, also, what you can do is if you want to buy something in bulk, such as like I'm buying those chapsticks in bulk, um, if you know somebody else that wants to buy some of the same thing, you can a lot of the time save money by going together and buying something bulk versus buying it individually. So that's kind of a, a random little tip that um, I've learned over the years. But, um, you know, I'm all about saving time and saving um, you stress. <laughs> so if you want help decluttering your house, if you want help decluttering your life, um, I have a resource. For, actually, I have two resources for you. I have a free class that I did the other day called Declutter Your Life. I'll put the link below. And I also have a new program called Simplify Your Life. And I, cre I created this program specifically to help you through the holidays and to help you get through the holidays with so much less stress <laughs> and so much less um, bullshit, really. Because what happens when we go into the holidays and all of a sudden we have somebody pop over and we haven't cleaned up and we haven't tidied up or we haven't decluttered or whatever. Sometimes we feel disheveled. We're like, oh shit, sorry the house is such a mess or whatever. And you know, people ignore it. And sometimes we're just like all stressed out. We can't relax. And so this is a super, super, super fun, easy way for you to be able to just declutter your house. It's a 10 day declutter extravaganza where we go through your house and systematically declutter. Now, the cool thing about this program is that I teach you my three phase decluttering system. The first phase is just doing the surface work, okay? Just doing the surface decluttering. The second phase is kind of doing that intermediate type work where you open up a drawer and you take out things that you absolutely know you're never gonna use. It could be doubles, it could be repeats of something. Notice what I did there, haha, -ha. <laughs> redundant, redundant. Anyway, and um, the third phase of uh, decluttering is the deep clean where you actually just gut everything out, wash it, clean it, scour it, and then only put in what you love. So I teach you each three of these phases during this program because while we're moving through this program, you may have a different energy level each day. Based on your energy level, then you can choose the, the amount of declutter that you do but you're still gonna see progress you're still gonna see momentum in moving through your uh, decluttering process now the cool thing also about this is every single day you're gonna get a handout for the area of the home that we're gonna declutter each of these handouts has all three phases of decluttering um, on the handout. So in essence, you're actually getting a 30-day plan to declutter your home. You could do the first 10 days just the surface level. The next 10 days, you can go ahead and just kind of start digging in a little bit more. And the third uh, you know, 10 day um, period, you can actually just do more of a deep clean. Now, when you get to that point, if you actually do a 30 day cycle, by the time you get to the deep clean, it's gonna be so much easier simply because you've already done the surface and the intermediate work as far as for decluttering most of the stuff that you know that you already don't need and use and love. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, click link number two below in the comments. So link number one is to a free class. It's a free lunch and learn class called Declutter Your Life. And the second link is for the Simplify the 10 day declutter extravaganza program. And we start on September 27th. Cause like I said, I want to get you and your house decluttered before the holidays. And this is one surefire way to help you de-stress and to help you go into the holidays with a really, really, really confident mindset and to have your holiday shopping done, which is really, really exciting. And the cool part also about decluttering is sometimes you find things that you've purchased that you've absolutely forgotten about and it might be the perfect gift for someone on your list. So I hope that this has served you today. I hope that this has helped you. If it has, tag somebody in the comments below, share it on your Facebook page, share it with your groups, let them know, hey, 
let's beat the holiday stress this year before it even starts, before we even think about the holidays, so that we can go into this holiday having a really kick-ass, really fun time so that we can just relax and just chill the hell out. <laughs> You know what I mean? So click the links below, share this with your friends, make sure that you click get notifications so anytime I'm live here on my private Facebook group and page that you get the notifications in your timeline and on your device. All right, everyone, I love you. I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye.